My new favorite thing to do is the 478 method. Now, what exactly is the 478 method? And how does it help you if you're looking to improve your public speaking skills? Uh, if you're improving yourself as a presenter or as an effective communicator, how does this 478 rule help? Now, if you're someone who is looking to change your relationship with anxiety, if before going on stage, you feel nervous, you have this butterflies in your stomach's effect, right? That you really want to change it. You want to let the butterflies fly in formation in your tummies. So what exactly can you do? The 478 method is exactly for you. You see, when it comes to overcoming anxiety, it's not really about trying to get rid of anxiety when you're speaking on stage or before you go on stage. I want to get rid of all levels of anxiety. It's not possible to do that because it's a universal human emotion. Anybody who tries and tell you that you can get rid of your anxiety just like that and you can get rid of it 100%, absolutely, with, with, with no, 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 no qualms, no, no caveats, no nothing, you can get rid of it 100%. You have to be very, very careful. I'll be interested to meet that person because why? Then if you read carefully, find out what their research is, is it possible even to get rid of a universal human emotion? Is it possible to get rid of like uh, anxiety, to get rid of anger, to get rid of sadness, to get rid of envy, to get rid of jealousy? I know these are negative emotions, negative, but they do teach us something. It's like when anxiety comes to our door and start knocking, we will try as far as possible to close that door and not open and welcome it. But when happiness, uh, when, when, when joy, uh, these kind of positive emotions come knocking on the door, we really open our doors and welcome them in. We cannot get rid, but using the door analogy, we can change our relationship with it. We can welcome anxiety and stay with anxiety. And the moment you can do that, you realize that anxiety will leave and it will subside. It has to. So how does the 478 rule help? What exactly is this? It's the breathing technique using 478. Now you might be thinking, breathing technique, that sounds a little bit too simple, right? And it's precisely because it is simple and all the more it makes it easier for audience members to do, to commit and to do it for a longer period of time such that you internalize that as a habit. What is the 478 rule? Let's unpack that. 478, four refers to four seconds where you breathe in. So when you breathe in, it is important to not start thinking about what, what food I'm going to eat, not, not to think about what movie I'm going to watch, but the four seconds that you take when you breathe in is to close your eyes and take a deep breath in Feel the coolness of the air. Feel your chest rise. That's four seconds. And after that, seven. Seven seconds of holding the breath. Make it long. Seven seconds long. So you allow for facilitated gaseous exchange in the lungs. Seven seconds, hold your breath. Then eight. Eight refers to you breathing out. Now when you breathe out, breathe out, through your mouth and feel, do it slowly and feel your entire body, body soften and relax. That is one entire cycle. Do it for four cycles and you find yourself, your heart rate will go down. You feel much calmer. You feel that, you feel that you're able to, hey, take on the challenges. Will anxiety still be there? Sure, but a little bit. You find that when you do that exercise often enough, anxiety hits less frequently and less intensely. So give it a try. It's something not to be well, thought of, to, to, uh, to ruminate, uh, to, to start judging, but it's really to do. And when you do, you realize that, wow, it is very, very effective and you find yourself getting calmer. It's not just for stage anxiety. It can be any general anxiety that you encounter, whether it's at the workplace, whether it's at home. So time not to others, time all to yourself. And the elegance of the 478 rule is that when you do it, you can do it while you are seated in the first row waiting for your name to be called. You don't necessarily have to, well, uh, go to the backstage and start jumping on the spot doing power poses and all. You can do it while you are seated, while you're on a train, while in the car. And that is what makes it so convenient. Give it a try, this 478 rule, and let me know in the comments how it has been for you. Take care, everyone.